if you're watching this, it's probably because you're a nursing student who just spent three to four years in nursing school and you're getting ready to write your NCLEX and you just don't know where to start. Hi, my name is Shanika and I'm a recent nursing grad and I just wrote my NCLEX and I passed on my first try. So if you're interested in learning how I did it and what strategies I use and how I studied, keep watching. Tip number one, which is what no one talks about, is you need to get in the study mindset. So if you are someone like me who who graduated nursing school and then took a few months off before writing your boarding exam um, or your, your licensing exam, the NCLEX, then you probably are, you probably kind of got out of study mode. You kind of took a break. You kind of wanted to re reset and rest, which that's perfectly fine. But you were locked down in school for so long and you just wanted to relax and now you've relaxed and now you're just like, oh, I don't want to study again. Well, one of the things that I did was to get myself in the study mode by gathering my supplies so i went supply shopping so i i tried to make it fun so i went out i got i went shopping i i went to the dollar store you don't have to go get anything expensive but you know get go to dollar store get the things you feel like you would need for example if you feel like you need a new notebook start with start with a fresh new notebook some new pens get some colorful pens to make it look pretty i Lighters, folders, cue cards, pens, sticky notes, literally anything you feel like you would need. So get a folder so that all your um, papers and all your, your notes can just be in one folder designated for NCLEX studying. I got this black bolt that um this black folder and I had I bought like a new notebook. So this is what I used when I was studying and taking my notes. Next thing is to watch videos watch videos just like this to get you thinking about okay i have my test coming up i have my test coming up what are some strategies that i can do to enhance my studying so watch videos watch um really try to um find videos that are even about nursing to get you excited about becoming a nurse i will include my video that i made about my experience in command clicks watching these videos will just get you into the mindset of like this is real. This is what to expect. And this is how I can prepare and get you get the wheels turning. Number two. So for tip number two, I want you to give yourself enough time and to create a schedule for yourself. So what this means is everyone's going to be different. Everyone's going to have a certain amount of time like there's a lot of videos on youtube on how to prepare for an um, NCLEX exam in 30 days or how to prepare for an NCLEX exam in three weeks but everyone's different not everyone will be prepared after three weeks or one month sometimes people take two months some people take three months it all depends so you know yourself better than anyone else you can take inspiration from other people's study guides and other people's videos just like this one but please know yourself and know how much time that you may require to study if you're busy if you have if you're a mom if you have a full-time job or whatever else you have going on in your life so you have to make time for studying it's really important at least for the for three weeks following the date or like you know that you're consistently studying meaning that i think it's important to touch the material every single day meaning you're either answering questions every single day or you're um or you're reading the material or you're going through some type of material every single day up to the exam right it might be like for an hour it might be for two hours it might be for four hours but make a schedule that works for you an example of this could be like um i'm gonna wake up at 8 a.m every single day um for the next month um and from from 8 to like 12 or 8 to 1 i'm gonna be i'm gonna just be studying from right i'm just gonna be studying and i'm gonna have a little break in between so that that's a, an example of setting a setting a schedule just making time for this and ma making sure that you're touching the material almost every single day like you can take a day break but just do not take study for one day and then 
and then take like 10 days or like take six days breaks and then come back to it that that will not retain it will not be retained in your brain tip number three pick no more than two if you have to three but i personally would not pick more than two resources to study like there are so many different resources to study we the one of the most popular ones is you world um, that's the one I use. There's also the Saunders Comprehensive Review Guide. There's also, I think, Kaplan. Kaplan. Um, and there, you know, there's just so many. I use UWorld and I use the Saunders book. Um, the Saunders, what is it called? The Saunders Comprehensive Review Guide. Those are the two that I had available to me um, to study. So just leaving it there. You don't want to overwhelm yourself with more than two because sometimes the information just might be different in different books. It just might get overwhelming and confusion, confusing. And you world, for example, has like two th over 2000 questions. So if you're already going to be answering 2000 questions and you're already and like you're going to get another one, like it's just a lot. So tip number four is the studying strategy. So I didn't mention this in tip number three. But I believe this is a must and I would highly recommend it to anyone. First week of studying, it has to be um, you listening to Mark K audios. So, so Mark K, I believe he is a nurse in the, in the States and he used to um, write for the NCLEX. So he's very knowledgeable about the types of questions that they ask. And he started like a review guide. So he, there are free Mark K audios on Spotify. Um, just search Mark, Mark Klimek, um up on Spotify and you'll get them. Just literally listen, listen to them. Even if, if whether you are an RN or, or an RPN, these audios will definitely help you to remember and retain information. I'm the type of person I like lecture style um content like i like when people um talk to me and teach me that way versus just reading in a book so for your first week of studying to be to use the mark k um audios and get like um get and take notes so either you take notes or you can find free um notes online literally just google a mark Clemix um and clicks notes it will probably pop up like free ones that someone has already created and generated um i'll leave some links below if i can find um that's literally what i did and it's like a, such a time saver because especially if you're giving yourself a month to study or five weeks to study that's not a lot of time considering you also have other priorities in your life so if you can find notes that have already been um created and then I, what i do is i read along with them so for example the notes that i got from the mark k lectures i printed them off so um another girl she made a she made a youtube video and she shared her personal notes and i'll link her um video down below and 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 you can check her out she was she was such a good help too um but yeah basically these notes that she provided were so detailed so colorful and i basically as i was listening i highlighted i wrote on the side so you also take your notes as you're going as well so tip number five is for the next two to three weeks aim to answer as many questions as you can so I, every day i would answer probably 60 to, to 100 or over 100 questions a day you will find that the longer you go the more questions you will answer like or the faster you'll get at answering the questions right so you really need to get used to answering you worlds or um NCLEX style questions meaning the select all apply um the hot spot type of questions uh like you just really need to get used to answering that style of question and that will really help based on system. So I went system by system. I started with neuro and I worked my way down. You don't have to do that, but that's what I did. Um, and key, and basically I would use my Saunders book um, as 
extra support so some people what they do is they read through the entire book and then they answer questions and stuff like that um based on the chapter i didn't do that i literally just went straight after watch listening to the mark k videos which were awesome i went straight into you world answering questions now don't be scared when you start answering you world questions and you get low marks you're learning as you go don't forget to you always want to read the rationale so that's my next other tip so you want to read all the rationales take notes of all the rationales even the ones that like even the rationales why something else is wrong you want to take note of that and um write it on a cue card write in your notebook just make note of that and go over that at the end like every time you do a set of questions go over go over those rationales and then if there's something you did not understand you that's when i would go into my saunders saunders is pretty much just more information on something because sometimes you will just gives you the rationale but it doesn't give you the full picture like it doesn't give you information about like the system for example you're not knowledgeable about the endocrine system and you wanna and then the question is like an endocrine disorder for example um and the u world just didn't give you as much information as you you like to fully understand that then you would go into the saunders comprehensive um review guide and find that information so that's how i did it that's like the quick easy shortcut way because i just could not sit down and read a book for like i couldn't read a, i couldn't sit and just read a book in order to study i literally had to be actively answering questions there's also cue cards i wrote cue cards for like drug toxicity levels i wrote cue cards for certain drugs if i want to remember the drug i wrote cue cards for uh, lab values that's how i study i i didn't write cue cards for everything um but just for certain things that i want to like just quickly review like google sometimes if there's something on on um you world that i didn't understand i would just google it i mean it's obviously better to refu refer to your saunders book if you can but sometimes you just need something quick and if it's if it's clear you you can just sometimes google comes in handy okay so week from your for your last week or so maybe your last week week and a half i would dedicate that to um, just reviewing all the material and I mean by last week up until your exam review all your material meaning all your notes all your notes all your cue cards um, and start doing the self-assessment so you get two self-assessments in your world and I would highly recommend that because it tells you how, like, how likely you are going to pass so the first time I did my self-assessment I got a um, high chance of passing and I was like, okay, good. Um, but then the next time I did my self-assessment, the last time it was, I got very high chance of passing. So that was reassuring. And um, yeah, you always like very high chance of passing. That was like the highest that you, um, category that you could fall into when they ranked um, your score. Uh, I would just save the two self-assessments for your last week before your exam to just test yourself pretty much like you you can do it like five days before your exam and then like two days before your exam or like maybe a week before your exam and then like two days before your exam even on the self-assessments you want to be taking notes because i feel like the self-assessment was really good and had a lot of great questions i had like questions that i actually seen on the exam so that's what i would recommend take notes on your the ones you got wrong and review your self-assessments before your exam i'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys one question that i had in my mind before taking my exam is do you have to answer all of the U world questions in order to pass. So there are over 2,000 questions in U world. Um, I didn't, let me be honest, I'm gonna keep it 100. I didn't finish all 2,000. I had, I think I had like 56 left. Like I actually feel like I had 56 left, which 
I feel like as long as you get to like over 95% of through 95% of the questions and at least see all the questions I mean if at least if you see more than 95% of the questions at least once try to get through as many as you can and you do your self-assessment and it says you're in a good place you'll be okay because a lot of the questions repeat themselves in a way like it presents it differently um but it's the same concept and so it's just more review and sometimes like with 2000 over 2000 questions that can be like information overload to someone it said i completed like 97 percent of the questions um and all of the questions and then at that point i just went over the questions that were incorrect meaning that like instead of going from the pool of um unused questions i went through the pool of incorrect answers so because i already seen those ones before i already answered them before but i got them incorrect so now i know i got those ones incorrect i should just go through the incorrect ones that way i I really understand that was a question like don't freak out if you didn't get to see like all of them I also had a friend who who had like a hundred questions left in new world and she still passed so the point is is that like you really want to get through I would say 95% of the new world questions and see them at least once and and really understand it and feel prepared versus like just cramming to get to like two two thousand two hundred 2200 questions Get, getting through all those questions at one time so yeah so that pretty much wraps up my video thank you guys so much for watching if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and give me a comment below let me know if if this helped you when it comes to preparing or what you plan to do for preparing for your exam and let me know how it works out for you i i really hope this um information can help someone and make them feel confident and comfortable and be able to at least start what come the start the process of studying because i know it can feel daunting and i know it can feel boring and i know it can feel like annoying after you just spent so long in school um it's like the last thing you really want to do but it's definitely necessary in order to get your license and i know you can do it so yeah um i wish you guys the best of luck bye